Setting up an email account for the first time can be complicated. Leopard makes it simple. If you're using .Mac, Yahoo Plus, Google Gmail, or other popular email systems, you simply type in your name, email address, and password. Then click Create, and Mail does the rest. Often people send themselves emails as notes and reminders, so we built note-taking and to-dos right into Mail. There's an icon in the toolbar for creating a new note. Click it, and you get a new yellow notepad to type into. I'll type a quick note. I can even drag in images or other documents as attachments. When I finish my note and close it, it appears right in my inbox. Because it's in my inbox, I can access my note anywhere I can access my mail. If you have several notes, there's also a special notes mailbox in the reminders section that shows all of your notes. Let me open up another note. One of the items in my note is actually a reminder of something I have to do. So I can select that portion of the note and press the to-do button, making a new to-do. That text is now highlighted in orange, and there's a checkbox that I can click when that to-do has been completed. There's also an icon to the left that lets me set some options, including due date and priority. And because to-dos created in mail are automatically added to iCal, you can choose which calendar to add them to. And any changes you make will be reflected in both mail and iCal. So it's a really convenient way to stay organized. Mail also lets you send out emails with stunning templates that will impress your friends and family, no matter what the occasion. As you compose a new message, just click the Show Stationery icon, and you can pick one of 32 Apple Design templates for your email. If you're sending a birthday greeting, inviting people to a celebration, making an announcement, sharing photos, or simply want to send an email with style, there's a stationery template for you. Here I'd like to send an email to friends about a recent trip. I'll pick the postcard template, type in my note, wish you were here, and using the built-in photo browser, pick images from my iPhoto library. Here's the event I want. I just drag them into place. Then I can easily switch the placement of the photos, resize, or reposition. Mail is even smarter in Leopard with a new feature called Data Detectors. Here's an email from someone that I recently met. At the end of the email, the signature includes the person's full contact information. Instead of copying and pasting each item into the address book, all I have to do is hover the mouse over the contact info. Notice how Data Detectors places an outline around all of the data that was found. And with a click on the arrow, a menu appears allowing me to create or add to an existing contact. With a click, Brandon is now a contact in my address book. Here's another email inviting me to a dinner. In this case, Data Detectors gives me the option to create a new iCal event. Data Detectors are really smart, though. This invitation says, this Tuesday, and it recognizes that this Tuesday is an actual date. I'll just select Nicole in the buddy window and click the video chat icon and wait for her to accept my invitation. Hi, Nicole. Hey there, John. Thanks for helping me out with this. No problem. Should we start with iChat Theater? Sure. With the new iChat Theater, it's really easy to share photos or deliver presentations right over your video chat. To share an iPhoto event, I just click on the plus button, choose Share iPhoto with iChat Theater, then pick the event that I like the best. And with a click, my photos are now part of our video chat. Let's see how these photos look on Nicole's Mac. Along with sharing photos, iChat Theater also lets you share keynote presentations. Exactly. Let me just open this one up. There it is. You can see all the transitions in real time and can even go full screen. And it really helps that we can keep talking as I take you through it. This really takes presentations to a whole new level. It sure does. And because iChat Theater uses Quick Look technology in Leopard, anything that opens with Quick Look can be shared via iChat Theater. For example, PDF files. Microsoft Office documents like this Excel spreadsheet. 
I can even share QuickTime movies. When you want to have fun with your video chats, you can add effects and backdrops just like the ones in Photo Booth. People are going to have a lot of fun with these, but it's a good thing you can easily get back to the original. Right. I just click on the center effect. Of course, I can have even more fun with backdrops. I'm going to scroll over to the next page in the effects panel. And here I see a few backdrops that are built right into iChat. Once I choose one, iChat asks me to step out of the frame momentarily. And while I'm gone, it learns what my background looks like so it can be replaced. And now I'm in a whole new world. Of course, I'm in the studio, but this will also work great at home. For best results, just be sure to have a background that doesn't move. Let's take a look at Nicole's Mac again as I switch to another one. And besides photos, there are also video backdrops too. Here, I'm underwater. And now, I'm in Yosemite. You can even use your own photos or videos as backdrops. That's right. There's one more great feature that I'd love to show. iChat lets you share your screen with anyone on your buddy list also running Leopard. Let's say that Nicole and I are working on a project together. Instead of emailing the final presentation back and forth, wouldn't it be great if I could simply see her screen to make sure everything is perfect? Well, now I can. Hey, Nicole, do you mind if I share your screen? Just send me an invitation. I'll OK it. All right. All I have to do is click on the screen sharing icon on the buddy list. Once Nicole OKs it, her desktop replaces mine, and my desktop is minimized in this little panel. I can easily swap between the two desktops. And you don't just see your buddy's screen. You've got complete control of it. Right. I just go to Nicole's document stack, for example, and open up the Keynote file we've been working on. I can browse through a few slides, and I can even make an edit and save the changes. And to stop screen sharing, I just press the close button and I'll be returned to my regular desktop. Thanks for your help, Nicole. OK, bye. That's the new iChat. And it brings it into our guided tour of some of the coolest new features in Leopard. With Leopard, your Mac will be even more powerful and a lot more fun. New Macs will come with Leopard pre-installed, or the upgrade is available at your local Apple retail store, the Apple online store, or an Apple reseller. One of the best things about Leopard is that you can upgrade your existing Mac simply and quickly. Leopard is the sixth major release of Mac OS X in the past six years. And by updating to the latest technology, you are sure to get the most out of your Mac. Upgrading a Mac with the new operating system is simple because Mac OS X was designed to be easily upgradable from the start. The operating system, your applications, and all of your stuff are kept completely separate on your hard drive so that when the operating system is upgraded, Mac OS X knows exactly what to replace and what to keep. Leopard is designed to work on Macs that were made in the last several years, and to see the detailed system requirements, you can go to apple.com slash macOS10. So let's take a quick look at how easy the upgrade is. Here's an iMac that's running Tiger. To start the upgrade, all you need to do is pop in the Leopard Upgrade DVD like this. After a couple of seconds, the DVD will open and all you need to do is double-click the Install Mac OS X program to get the upgrade going. Just press Restart, type in your username and password, then click OK, and your Mac will reboot directly into the Leopard installer. All it takes to complete the installation of Leopard is to click through a couple of simple options. I'll choose English as my preferred language. Next, read and agree to the software license, and then select the hard drive that you want to install it on. It usually takes about an hour or two for the upgrade to complete. So why not get a cup of coffee or even go for a walk? And when you come back, your Mac will be running Leopard, and all of your music and photo libraries will be just where you left them. Your email accounts and bookmarks will be ready to use too. So you can start using Leopard and all of its great new features right away. So that's about it. To learn more, go to apple.com. Thanks.